Hey there, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, May the 12th, and I decided to go live on my main page uh, because this is a big deal. This is a big deal. So um, if you're watching this now or if you watch this later, just say hello so that we know who got to see this video about a legacy about 10 years ago. And I actually even pulled out my pom-poms for this and many of you will recognize these. So 10 years ago today or this week, actually yesterday, 10 years ago this week, I birthed the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs. And so that's a big deal. Uh, it was a big deal then and it's still a big deal. And uh, this afternoon we're having a celebration at two o'clock central. You're welcome to come. I, I'm inviting all of you. That's why I'm here live. And um, again, say hello. Hi, Thisha. Who else is here? So 10 years ago today, uh, well, this week, we went live on May 11th. I, uh, I began to create the program. I had the dream. I had an idea and I moved forward. I took action. I took bold action, my friends. I took bold action not knowing the answers, not knowing the answers. I invested in myself. I went to a training with a woman in San Antonio and learned how to do it. Yeah, you better believe it. And I had to basically beg, borrow, or steal to get there in order to pay for my coaching training. And so I did that. I prayed and God actually sent me a little bit of extra money. So I was able to, to get to that training to lay the foundation. That was on April 20th. Look, Look at this. I'm an action taker. I'm an activator in the uh, top five strengths finder. If you know your strengths finder, post them below uh, because they are really, they matter. I'm an activator. I'm a woo. I'm a positivity. Mm hmm. Imagine that. Yes. I never got to be a cheerleader in high school. I never, I never tried even. Uh, but I've been able to be a cheerleader of women. I've been able to be a cheerleader of businesses birthing and books launching and all sorts of really amazing things. Women running their first marathon. I've done four of those myself and can't do them anymore uh, because of back injuries. Can't run anymore. You know what? Don't, uh, don't take for granted the things that you actually can do because later you're going to go, wow, I can't do that blank anymore. And um, I wish I could. Sidebar. Uh, so the, the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs, long name, short website, NACWE.org. If somebody can post that for me, it'd be great. It'd be great. We're having a celebration this afternoon with 10 experts and we're all giving away a gift and I uh, can't wait, you know, a freebie, a download. I'm actually giving away my 36 page workbook called Create Your Vision. And I just took action. I had an idea. I moved forward and I believed. I believed and I I made I I took I took uh, bold leaps. I was I I didn't know if anybody was going to join. Let's tell the truth. Okay, let's tell the truth. I didn't know if anybody was going to join. Uh and in the first uh in the pre-launch, in the pre-launch, thank you Thisha. In the pre-launch, which we had open for about 5 weeks, uh, the inaugural group, the founding members, charter members, uh, 45 women joined. And I just, um, the first couple, of course, I knew they were friends of mine and they would, you know, join probably almost anything I put out there. Hello. And, um, and then there was people that I didn't know. There was, there was people from all over. There was people that I wasn't friends with on Facebook. Yes, there was Facebook back then. Uh, I've been on Facebook and YouTube since 2007, 2000. <laughs> And so uh, all of that to say, it, it just began to multiply. And I just began to need to show up in brand new ways to be that president, to be the founder. And I said that I stood up in a room and said that before we had a website. This is the coolest part. I stood up in a room of 17 women. I said, I am the founder and president. Yes, let's pause. Let's pause for emphasis. Um, I stood up and said that I claimed my victory. I claimed that I was going to do this. I claimed that I was going to, I was going to create this and prepare for the way for you to come. I prepared the way for you to come. If you don't build it, they can't join you. Wink, wink. If you don't like write the book, they can't get it. Hello. So I, I just really want to get on here today and inspire you to keep going. Create something that you dream of, believe in, care, care about. And I'm about to launch my newest thing. I'm about to launch the Nourished Life Club. Why is that? Well, because I my evolution. 
My evolution is um, I sold NACWI three years ago. I sold NACWI to Karen Linwell Borg and it's still going. I highly encourage you to come join us there. We have a conference coming up in the fall. We have this free training today. And since then, I still do lots of coaching. Brave Creations master, Mastermind. I've got 15 women in that. I coach women on their body, business, and boundaries. I just became a certified mind-body eating coach. I am a RIM certified. Uh, I, I'm regenerating images and memory. I've, I've gotten all these trainings. You know, you always add all these trainings. Uh, but uh, close to my heart is what I would I would call is this nourish experience. And so brand new debuting in the next two weeks is the Nourished Life Club, where I'm combining my life change club and nourish and putting them all in a magical togetherness. Yes, just like this, nourish. Uh, and, it, and it's going to be a place where you're going to get to be a founding member. Yeah, uh, and you're going to get to get in and ga gather up all the goodies that I've already created and everything new that I will create. So if that like sparks interest in you, post below, just, you know, give me a shout out, give me a private message. And again, I will be debuting this here in the next few weeks. Again, I don't know who's going to join me, but I know that someone will. I know you will. I know that you want this. I know that you need this. I know that it's a daily reprieve for me to keep taking good care of myself because um, my old mindset t tells me not to. And I want to do things that aren't healthy for me. And I want to eat things that don't work for me anymore. Um, but a long time back, almost seven years now, I made a decision. Can you all see that? Long time back, I made a decision. This is step three in our 12 steps. And I made a decision to basically keep going. I made a decision to practice these principles in all my affairs and not be perfect. I made a decision to try things. I made a decision to work through the steps, the 12 steps of recovery with alcohol. I made a decision to work through the, the steps with my food behaviors and dieting addiction. I made a decision to work through this with debt and now I'm debt free. I made a decision to not uh, people please and chase people down and try to fix everybody's problems. So what decision do you need to make? And, you know, I keep these little signs all over the place. You better believe it. They're behind me. There's my books. There's my magazines. There's my art. Uh, but above all else, I want you to practice brave. Practice brave. Choose brave. You're going to have to choose it many times throughout the day. And, it, and you know, a lot of it will be little micro, micro braves. Um, in my neck of the woods, we say one brave at a time. And it could be saying no, it could be saying yes, it could be something so small and simple and you think this is not a big deal. It is a big deal. You hear me? It is a big deal if you honor who you are and ask for what you need and choose to say something where before you never would have said a thing, you would have eaten your words. Be careful of that. Be careful of eating your words because they end up, um, they end up choking you. <laughs> they end up keeping all those feelings trapped inside. I, I have eaten at people. I have shopped at people out of anger or resentment or fear. I have, uh, you know, drank at you. That didn't help a darn, you know, pee picking thing. So I've learned now how to live in recovery and how to make a decision to uh, live in this one day at a time, nourish, brave experience. Three things I teach everywhere I go, and then we'll close up because I got to get on another call, my friends. Three things I want to teach you, and this is my mantra. For life, number one, be brave. No, no, no. Pardon me. <laughs> Can't read my own thing. Yeah, number one, be real. Number two, ask for help. And number three, take action. Okay? If you do these, just rinse and repeat. And this is just, you know, all day, every day for me. And this is what we do in all my programs. This is what we do in the programs I already have and the programs that are coming. I can't wait to invite you and welcome you as a founding member to the Nourished Life Club. So be watching for that uh, announcement, uh, but just message me and let me know that you want info. I'll see you soon. Happy birthday, Nekwi. Um, I'm so honored to be your mama, and I'm so honored uh, that uh, you are still alive and well. NACWE.org. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.